Okay, now we are going to be drawing a pulley. And this one's out of cast iron, still in millimeters. And if you take a look at this, what we have over here, um, it's actually symmetrical over this line, right? So this side is the same as this side. But if we had another line that split it this way, it's actually symmetrical that way also. And so we're just going to focus on about one quarter of this and um, do some mirroring and some patterning and things like that and kind of show you how to do things a little bit more efficiently. So we're going to go to our Fusion, turn on our Origin, start a sketch on the right side. <coughs> First thing I want to do is draw some center lines. So I'm going to switch that to Construction right through that and that's good on that one and then we're going to draw another one I want it right over that and so to make sure that we have um, those right on the line there and they stay put I'm just going to use coincident so this line to the origin and this line to the origin so they stay on there and don't move on me. All right, and now let's go back. <coughs> Excuse me. So my basic shape, I'm going to ignore the hole for now. Um, that can be done later on. So we don't have to worry about this little thing right here. I'm going to go up and then make this kind of shape here. Let's see how we do. So we're going to get line, turn the construction part off. We want it on that. We're going to go up. And then down. On some type of angle. Flatten out there. All the way back. So I kind of messed up there. Um, and then I'm just going to grab my select tool and move things around to get them how I want them to be a little bit better. All right, so then I want to say I want you. Oops. So I escaped out of that. I want to be horizontal. Those other ones are already all set. So that's pretty good shape for what we want it to be. And now we're going to dimension it <coughs> Excuse me. over this center line. And so the, the middle hole is 20 and then 40. So what we're going to do is grab our dimension tool, go from this to this, diameter. And that one was 20, I believe. Is that right? Yep. And then same thing here to there. And now we want it to be 40. The overall size is 130 and then 120 for the next one. So if I'm going to go here, here, right click, diameter, oops, got to place it, 140, and then here to there, right click, diameter, place it, what did we say, 120? <coughs> oh, it was 130 and 120, excuse me. So let's go back in here, 130 and 120, okay, and now we have 25 for that overall height, so let's actually go from here to here, and that's a diameter dimension of 25, on the inside in here we have it up to 40, so we'll go here, here, right click that one and bring it down. So that's 40. To the bottom of this slope, we have 55. So if we go from here to that point and right click that one, what did I type there? That did not look right. 55. And then that's 12 in there, so let's do from here to here, and right click, and that's 12. So now we got it looking more like what we have here, right? 
Um, we got everything kind of set the way we want it to be, and we're good with that. So we can hit finish that sketch. And now we want to revolve that. So we go up here, we want that surface, yep, our axis around this. And that is just what we want to do. All right? Okay. Next thing that we would then do, so that's half of that done, is we want to mirror that. And we can do this whole body mirrored over um, this plane. And then join them up. And there we go. Great. So that's now done. Last things we have to do are add these holes. So we have six holes. And they start right at the very top up there. And the hole appears to go all the way through. And those holes have a diameter of 20. So let's create a new sketch on this surface. And we got to figure out where the center of that is. So where's the center? Right there. A diameter of 84 from the center out to that. So let's give it a line. We'll turn it construction. Start at the origin. And we want to go up 84 divided by 2. And that's that point right there. Okay. Now we're going to hit circle, and I want to turn my construction off. And this is a 20 diameter hole. And we're good. Finish. We're going to extrude that out. Make it all the way through. Great. And now we need to make a circle pattern of that. So we go in here, pattern, circle pattern. And it says bodies. No, we don't want bodies. We want features. And that was the last extrusion we just did. And the access, we currently can't really get to it. Um, easy enough just to turn these sketches back on. Probably our first one. There it is. Okay. And here is where we then change our quantity. All right. We could, if we didn't want to go all the way around, that's where you change it. But we do. So we'll hit OK. And let's turn that sketch back off. And that is now our pulley. <coughs> and we're going to do it cast iron, and then this one's done. Give it a physical appearance. Back in metals. Scrolling. Cast iron. Then we can hit close. Let's turn off our origin. I think it looks better. Right click, properties, get a little bit bigger maybe. And there we go. All right, that's it.